chat GPT is going to change healthcare forever. Now, there's been a lot of talk over the last few years about how artificial intelligence is going to change healthcare. And let me tell you, the future is now. Whether you're a patient or a clinician, you're going to feel the impacts of ChatGPT on your day-to-day -day work or your experience at the doctor's office sooner rather than later. This is The Prescription Press, episode number four. Let's get into it. I'm your host, Nolan Fisher. I'm a physician who breaks down medical news. And today we have a story from CNBC on OpenAI's project working together with Microsoft in order to make AI become a valuable tool for healthcare practitioners. Before we get into that, however, I want to tell you a story. And it's a story about my experience in healthcare and how I believe this will affect not only me, but the patients that I treat. So whenever I first started off in medical school, that was about eight years ago now, I've done four years of medical school and four years of residency. And in that time, I've heard countless amounts of times about how being a physician isn't what it used to be. And a big part of that is because there is such a large, what they call administrative burden on the physicians now. Now, this comes down to a bunch of different things like dealing with insurances and uh, administrative roles at hospitals and stuff like that. But one of the big issues is clinical documentation. And that's whenever your physician types up a note after seeing you or while they're seeing you in order to document the care that they are giving. Initially, before computers were around, these notes were scribbled on a piece of paper and were merely a means to communicate information from one visit to the next so that they would remember what was going on and remember what the next steps were in the treatment plan. Well, that's not the case anymore. With computers, there's this whole influx of information that can be put in and stored in a relatively small space. And so as a result, physicians have to type more and more and more in their notes, and they're constantly increasing that amount over the years in order to satisfy billing and coding requirements, and then of course, insurance companies. So what has happened as a result? Well, the result is that the physician is either spending hours per day on documentation, or they're doing that documentation while they're in the room with the patient. This is frustrating for the physician because physicians just want to treat patients. And this is frustrating for patients because patients don't get to sit there and have a natural conversation with their physician. Instead, their physicians sitting there on a keyboard, typing away or pecking away at the keys, trying to get their note done at the same time. It's bad for the physician. It's bad for the patient. And so I, being someone that likes to keep up with technology, have always been thinking of what are ways to get around this? What are ways to make this less burdensome? And there are certain things I've developed, like these uh, phrases and templates I could put into notes to make it faster, but it's still not that great, and it still takes a lot of time. In the last few months or so, when ChatGPT came around, I started playing around with that. And one of the first things I did was I took a news story. I copied all the text, and I put it in there, and I said, can you give me a summary of this news story? And it did a fantastic job at doing it. But then I realized that you could change the format that that, that, that summary comes in. And so I realized, uh, like a light bulb went off my head. It's like, well, why don't we just do this for clinical documentation? And then you combine that with speech to text. And my thought was that you could just simply have a device that was in the room with the physician and the patient. It could listen to the entire conversation. And then based on the note template that you want, could get a note out of that. So at that point, I'm thinking, wow, I'm a genius. I have a billion dollar idea. I tell everybody around me about it, including my brother-in-law, my father-in-law. And I say, wow, look at this great idea I have. A couple days later, after doing some Googling, I find out that this is already being made. So this news story came as a result, me finding this news story came as a result of that search around my billion idea billion dollar idea that nobody else had. So before we get into the article, I want to give you a background on a couple of topics that will be talked about in this story that will give you 
a better understanding of what's going on. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pull up a picture that I have of a electronic medical record. Uh, this specific one that I'm going to pull up is called eClinical Works. There's a bunch of different ones, but this is just one of the examples. So here is eClinical Works. This is commonly used in outpatient clinics. If you're a physician, you will recognize this. As a patient, this is the part that you don't see, but this is like your profile that pops up. And it includes information like labs and notes and orders and stuff like that. But basically, we work from here. So we will type in on the left side over here is a good example of a note. And it includes things like why you're coming in. That's the chief complaint. And then the HPI is the history of present illness. That We have to type in all that too. And that just uh, is like exactly what's going on surrounding the time that caused you to develop this chief complaint. The other thing that you can do in here is you can place orders. So if you have knee pain and you need to get an x-ray, your physician can put that in here instead of having to write it on a piece of paper. So that's a good example of that. One thing that you can do to make your note taking more efficient is you can use dictation. And the company that got the the that's the most popular for that is called Nuance, and they make a product called Dragon. I'm going to pull that up right now. So here's a picture of the Dragon microphone. This plugs into a USB slot on their computer, and you can talk into it. the The really nice thing about this is dictation, in, until the last couple of years, hasn't been very good, and it would really stumble over medical jargon type words. The thing that Nuance did that was really good was they allowed you to train the microphone with your own vocabulary. So big words that you'd put in there that are medical terms that wouldn't usually be recognized, it would be able to pick up. And this made your note taking faster, but still, it still is a long process. So those are, those are two of the, the companies that will be, that will be not eClinical works, but Dragon is one of the companies we'll talk about in this article. And just understand that this is all related to different electronic medical records like eClinical works. So I'm going to pull up the article now. All right, so here's today's article. This is from CNBC titled Open AI Powered App from Microsoft Will Instantly Transcribe Patients' Notes During Doctor Visits. So Microsoft's speech recognition subsidiary, subsidiary, Nuance Communications on Monday announced Dragon Ambient Experience Express, a clinical notes application for healthcare workers powered by artificial intelligence. It's important to note when we talk about this, Dragon Ambient Experience, that's the same company as Dragon. They created something called Dragon Ambient Experience, which we'll touch on later, but it, it, it works similar in the fact that it listens to the entire encounter and then gives you a note. However, remember that Microsoft is a main investor in OpenAI, and OpenAI makes ChatGPT. And that's, uh, that's something GPT-4 is their model that powers ChatGPT, and it's something that they're saying will be incorporated into this new model. As I've highlighted here, Dax Express will draft a clinical note within seconds after a patient visit. It also uses this OpenAI GPT-4 to form insights from unstructured data like conversations. Just like I was talking about, takes a conversation and, and spits it out into a note that is the way you want it. Here's a quote from the company. Our ultimate goal is to reduce this cognitive burden to reduce the amount of time that they actually have to spend on these administrative tasks. Again, the administrative tasks that we're talking about include dealing with insurance, but a big part of it is clinical documentation. So Microsoft acquired Nuance for around $16 billion in 2021. The company drives revenue by selling tools for recognizing and transcribing speech during doctor office visits, customer service calls, and voicemails. So I didn't even realize that they did stuff outside of medicine too, but it makes sense. Like that technology can be used across every different sector. Down here, they say that Nuance Dragon Medical One speech recognition is used by more than 550,000 physicians. That's pretty impressive. That's definitely got to be the biggest one out there. DAX Express also builds on the original DAX application. This is what we were talking about before with their original DAX application being slightly different. 
So DAX converts verbal patient visits into clinical notes, and it sends them through a human review process to ensure they are accurate and high quality. The notes appear in the medical record within four hours after the appointment. If I had to guess, this would be why DAX isn't used everywhere. My guess is it's not that great because they don't have the artificial intelligence that OpenAI had and that the four hour window to get the note back is frustrating for physicians that just want to get their notes done by the end of the day and they don't want to have to review them the next day. Because if you do that, you aren't going to get your notes done until the evening, which means the next morning you'll have to get up early and review those notes and sign off on them and stuff. So DAX Express, in contrast, generates clinical notes within seconds. It's pretty impressive. But Ch ChatGPT provides crazy responses and all sorts of text in just seconds. So I'm not surprised that this is that it has this capability. The price of Nuance's technology varies based on the number of users and the size of a particular health system. Not shocking. Pricing in anything to do with healthcare is notoriously opaque and they do this so they can make the most amount of money it's a crooked system but you'd think they would just have a subscription per physician but unfortunately that's not the case importantly they say that the data is fully encrypted and runs in hipaa compliant environments meaning that your personal healthcare information won't get leaked because it's uh, not in a private private setup Finally, they have a quote at the bottom that says the physician and the patient can just face one another and they can communicate directly. The patient feels listened listen to. It's a very trusted experience. So that's the article. I think this is fantastic. I'm not shocked. Uh, I'm not also not surprised that people weren't thinking about this a long time ago. Yeah, definitely not shocked that they beat me to it. I think my next app, I'm going to invent a ride sharing app that uh, replaces taxis where you can just order it on your phone. I'm sure no one's thought about that either. I think that as a physician, I want to be able, if I'm in a clinical setting, to walk out of a patient's room, go to the next patient's room, sit down, have a conversation with them, discuss why, what is going on, what we can do to treat it, and why. If I can do that, and I can step out of the room and the notes complete for me, the orders that I discussed, the things that I want to do are already put in the order field and I can just sign off on them and then walk in with the next patient. It sounds like a dream come true. Whenever I think about all the complex things that are being handled with AI in other fields, this seems like a no brainer because it's using a lot of the same words and the same diagnoses, the same problems over and over and over again. So it should be able, if it has this ability to learn from repetition, it should be able to learn what we're doing as physicians and be able to create these notes in the way that we want them. As far as what you can do about this as a patient or as a clinician, look for it in the news. It, it should be coming here within the next six months to a year. They said they're going to be testing it. Uh, they're actually going to be showing it off in April, I believe. I believe at the end of April, they're going to be showing it off. And then they're going to have a limited release in June, sort of like a beta testing program, which I'm going to try to be a part of and see how I can get involved in that. And then as clinicians, this is going to be something that there's going to be a lot of com uh, competition with. So I think keeping an eye on what other products are out there. There's one called Hob Abla. That's coming out. I believe a French company is making it. It's primarily tailored for telehealth visits and it opens up in like Google Chrome. And then as you're doing your telehealth visit, it will transcribe it and get a note ready. I think this is going to be a space that's going to be billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of value. So there's going to be a lot of companies in it. But with Microsoft, the way they're going right now, the fact that they built OpenAI's technology into it, I think. Microsoft is going to be at the forefront of this, and this can be huge for Microsoft. So yeah, that's the article today. Artificial intelligence is here. ChatGPT is free for everybody to use for now, and it's going to be in a ton of different industries. It's going to impact your experience, your experience with healthcare providers in the very near future. And I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it because I think it's going to make my job a lot better, a lot easier. And I think it's going to do this for a lot of different industries, but 
I definitely think this is going to help with healthcare. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by the Prescription Press. I'm your host, Nolan Fisher. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe or follow on whatever platform that you're using. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you next time.